I cannot begin to explain how irritating it has been to just turn Hogwarts mystery on for the last week. That is why I missed the last TLS queue. It was not intentional. I waited for the puzzling portions event to finish. It finished, and then I wouldn't even be able to go past the loading screen. So I just skipped over that TLS queue because it was irritating. I sought help from another person to help deal with all the bugs that were happening in this game. It still wasn't working today. I had to fight with the Wi-Fi and the game to get this working, and now it runs. Thank God. I am so irritated. As much as I am upset by how many TLS queues there have been. Here in lies the reason why I want to quit playing the TLS queues. I will play this one because this is about the Sorcerer Stone and it is a Beyond Quest. At least the Beyond Quests are a little fun because they're new. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Mystery. So, um, we need to protect the stone. So, Sorcerer Stone. We've gotten that timeline. Uh, Fluffy. We need to do things. The only reason I want to play this quest, and I actually got excited to play it, was because I saw the trailer just a couple hours ago. Barnaby was in it, so I'm hoping he'll play a big role because just give me Barnaby, please. I also have other good news to share. However, if you don't like data mines or spoilers and all of that, then I will have a timestamp over here on uh, somewhere over here, and at which point you can skip to uh, to avoid all the spoilers. However, if you want to see spoilers, then here's what I saw in the data mine last week. It only took us five goddamn years. Now that I'm done ranting, let's do protecting the stone. Professor Dumbledore is protecting an item of utmost importance and needs your help because God forbid Dumbledore do anything himself. You will meet with beloved Hogwarts professors to try to defeat their defenses. You know we've already met those Hogwarts professors because we studied under them, right? But it won't be easy. Defeat their defenses. What are we? What are we even doing here? Do you have what it takes to survive this most important assignment? Complete the quest. Yeah, 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 man. We get it. Butter or water? That's it, sir. I swear to God, you can do this yourself. I don't know why I'm here. Hi, headmaster. What do you want this time? Do one thing. What? Do... Okay. He did things at Christmas last month. Okay, fine. Never mind. Uh -huh. Thank you for your prompt response to my owl, Miss Silvers. Lately, it seems we only see each other in times of distress, as such as the troll incident, and this is no different. What can I do for you? I love how in-game Sarah is so eager to help, and then there's actual Sarah who's just like, "Dude, what do you want this time? Why, why do you keep calling me? You can do things yourself. Good God! I have an urgent matter that requires utmost direction, Discre discretion. Sorry. You proved yourself adept at keeping things quiet when you transported the troll of Hogwarts grounds, uh -huh. and your wide-ranging experience as a student here at Hogwarts makes you the perfect choice to assist me. Oh, you mean the wide range of experience I got as a student, which I should not have gotten. I, actually, you're calling it experience? Um, I would call that trauma. Tell me what I can do to help. I guess because I have to. Okay, so you want me to test out obstacles here at Hogwarts? Yes, I'm guarding something important, and it must be kept safe at all costs. And then Harry breaks through them anyway because plot armor. I will need you to work with Professor Sprout, McGonagall, Snape, Flitwick, and Hagrid. Okay, Sprout for the Devil's Snare, McGonagall for the Chess. Snape, Flitwick, and Hagrid. Hagrid for Fluffy. Snape and Flitwick. I have no idea. Oh. They will be pleased to ask such a brilliant former student to try and defeat their obstacles. They accept Snape because he doesn't like anything. I'll do what I can to help because I have to. Mm. Time is of the essence. In fact, I must go right now to attend to a few matters myself. However, I do have time to answer your most pressing questions. All right. Why not? Does this involve Harry Potter? Ever since he arrived, strange things have been happening here. I may as well name drop it since the game won't let me otherwise. What a fascinating question. Yeah, give me the chance to name drop. Mr. Potter is merely a student and not involved in protecting the item. That's not what I was asking, but okay. Though so the timing of his appearance at Hogwarts and the protection of this item is curious. Thank you for answering my question, which he did not actually answer. Now where do I begin? We'll start by assisting Professor Sprout. Okay, Devil Snare first then. Uh -huh. Oh my God, Devil Snare! We haven't seen Devil Snare since year one at Hogwarts. I wonder if we get to do, like do all that indig again. Because one of the parallels in year one of Hogwarts Mystery was the fact that Harry and MC both got trapped within Devil's Snare for some reason. For MC, it was well, being bullied. For Harry, it was getting to the stone. Sirahi, this is one of the most important tasks I have given you. There is no room for failure. These tasks will not be easy, nor will they be safe. Please be careful. At least he is telling an adult who graduated, other rather than telling a student. So I'll take it. I won't let you down. I don't exactly care about letting you down, but well, I'll, I'll do it. I'm off to the Hibalji classroom. If there's Devil's Snare, I'm going to have flashbacks. Yeah, I was fiddling with my. What the hell is going on here? Those are not even Devil's Snares. Those are venomous tentaculars. What the heck? 
प्रोसेस प्राउड आर यू देर आई एम गोइंग थ्रू दैट आई कॉन्ट पॉइंट हियर यू मिस सलवार कम मीट मी ऑन दिस साइड ऑफ द रूम मैम डी आर यू सींग दिस सिचुएशन हियर राइट नाउ But the herbology herbology corridor from Hogwarts legacy. Everyone knows that Hogwarts legacy is Hogwarts legacy. 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 What are you? People getting me too. I just graduated. I just said it's okay that you put an adult to this. I just graduated though, so I'm like seventeen, eighteen at most. That does not make a strong case for your sanity, professor. If you're thinking about taking a shortcut, try to burn the tentacular savior spells. Like trying to burn the tentacular savior spells. Okay. These plants have been protected against it. Good call. Oh, is that why I'm not here to use Lumos? That that works. Oh no, she didn't even use Lumos. She just said just an axe and it will let you go. I suppose I'll simply have to dart around the plants without getting caught. Where the hell is Protego? Also, what is wrong with you people? Dude, this has been happening all day. I this is what I've been dealing with. If this keeps happening, what am I just going to record ten minutes at a time? It's going to be so many recordings. I changed the internet settings and everything. What is wrong? You know, in all honesty, I think I would have taken the hidden herbology corridor over this. I made it, and I'm not food. Well, almost. You better figure something out. Those venoms can tackle our what is spit venom. I have to get over these plants, but I won't make it if I jump. I need to get higher. Not too high. Don't forget about the plants or the ceiling. Is this a Mario Maker level? Good God! I need to fling myself in the air, but just high enough to pass through. A cast is in. Or how about you just duck under them? Never mind. Whatever you're gonna do, you better do it now. All right, I have to. <clears throat> I don't see how a sendio will work because if you do a sendio, you will just greasy get going higher and higher. Whatever, send you. That did not help, and that was also a Mario bounce. That was more dangerous than it needed to be. You could have just jumped. I made it. I made it. Impressive and just as dangerous as you suspected. No, I definitely thought I would need to use the antidote on you. Okay, so you had one. Thank God. You have an antidote? Why didn't you tell me that before I started? Oh. Of course, I had an antidote. I didn't expect you to actually pass the challenge. I needed it to be impossible, but it seemed a bit extreme to kill a former student to prove that. You are bad, and I prefer Professor Garlic. That raises a concern, though. Mm. The fact that you made it through means the obstacle can be circumvented. Professor Dumbledore asked me about testing the obstacles. Perhaps I can make them stronger too. Hmm. Since you were able to defeat my obstacle, I'll be happy to have your unique outside perspective. Mm. Together, we can research some new deadly challenges. How about now? Uh, but uh, explain why. Yeah, I, I, I've gone through that. At this point, I want to know. I'll meet you at the library. Oh, but TSQ starter pack. Go to the library. Take a shot. I saw Harry Potter yesterday. Good for you. You watched the, all the movies, all eight of them. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. You can't check books out anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah, I need to buy them. If I wanna, I can't. I can read them in the library, though, right? Don't tell anyone. But I heard a rumor that there was a troll in the girls' bathroom. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that there was a troll here because of Quirrell's troll in the dungeon. There's a troll in the dungeon. Well, everyone knows it was at Hogwarts at least. I don't think we've ever helped like a a professor in the library. Have you ever tried to research some deadly new challenges? But please explain why, because I don't want to be responsible for someone literally getting eaten alive. Brilliant! I must commend you again for evading my venomous tentacula. Why did put me in that situation? Oh. But many people could have thought that quickly on their feet. Honestly, with all the trauma that I have, what what can't I do? Or should I say, off their feet? Thank you, Professor. I said you'd gone mad, but you were simply trying to deal a difficult obstacle. You had definitely gone mad. Where is Professor Garlic? You proved my obstacle wasn't nearly difficult enough. Mm. And what we're protecting must stay protected for all of our sakes. I can't leave anything to chance. Then let's research more dangerous plants using an obstacle. So this is basically us having to face the consequences of not dying in that bit of a stint of pillar. Having to do all this reading. I don't want to do all that reading. Just feed me to the well, Mr. Tackle. At this point, there are quite a few dangerous options available to us. Yes, it seems our top choices are the Snuggler, Bouncing Ball, and Devil Snare. So we basically used our trauma with the Devil Snare to suggest to 
sprout that hey why don't you use devil stare because i got captured by it once in my first year had to use lumos but then again that is also uh, escapable how 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 does this make sense which plant do you think would be most effective as an obstacle just as for lower friendly pigeons also devil snare devil snare would be the most effective i know i know first hand how dangerous they can be hmm let you just snake like dentals to wrap around the arms and legs and eventually strangle its victim yes the more someone struggles the tighter the snake grip becomes snare snares not snakes oh, i'm so sorry oh a brilliant choice miss silvers for lower reasons but okay i suggested you just strangle people okay hi Pardon the intrusion. Yes, sir. Hello, Professor Quirrell. Miss Silvers, what a surprise! We lost uh, each other and remote. We're trying, trying. <sighs> with the like, with the stuttering. Don't worry, Professor. You don't have to worry about that role anymore. Professor Sprout, I can't help but notice we're all doing research. Perhaps we can share what we we learned. We just completed our research for the day. Yes, and there's much work to do. Good luck, Professor. Yes, right. Good luck to you. He's trying to find out stuff. How do I get past the damn devil stare? He thinks with the head on the back of his head. I suppose it's time I move on to my next obstacle. Yes, you certainly improved my challenge. Thank you for the help. Well, at least uh, no one's gonna get poisoned. But I, I don't think strangled is any better. You can find an extender from Professor Flitwick in the training grounds. Is this the man who made the keys, like the all the flying keys? Did Professor Flitwick make all those? Thanks, Professor. I'll head there now. Are you telling me that all the obstacles for the Sorcerer Stone was set up by MC? That's stupid. And just by seeing this, I'm assuming we're gonna give him the idea for the flying keys and all that jazz. You like jazz? I have never watched the B movie. Professor Flitwick, I've been sent by Professor Dumbledore to assist you. Please don't try to kill me. I'm still very young and haven't had my first kiss yet. The headmaster has informed me. Welcome back to Hogwarts, Miss Silver. This is not even the first time I'm back. I, I come back here literally every week because jobs today won't let me stay away from Hogwarts. I hear you help Professor Sprout immensely. We shall see if you can do the same for me. Look at me and look at you. What do you think I'm here for? I thought Professor Sprout's challenge was mad, but we came up with something even madder. Oh. I don't like the fact that I just told her that. How about you struggle, people? My obstacle can only be completed by a skilled flyer. Yeah, this is the man who made the flying keys. You may have pretty good experience, but this will be difficult even for you. Tell me about your obstacle. Oh. Your object is simple, but completing it is not. Ah, flying keys. I yeah. So I guessed. Oh. Nice. All you have to do is catch the key and jump to fly. That does seem simple. Oh, well, I almost forget. Mind the blunders. Oh, all right. I'm off to catch that key. In the movie, wasn't the uh, like the obstacle the fact that there were many different keys and you had to pick out the right one? Also, I was beat up. I can deal with the flutters. Oh, you know what this flying key reminds me of? Uh, the flying keys in Hogwarts Legacy. Like you had to follow them. What do those called? Dedalian keys. You had to follow them, and you had to follow them to a cabinet and then slap them onto the cabinet at the right time so that the key would go in the hole. And that's how you would get house tokens. Dude, I haven't played Hogwarts Legacy since I finished it. I really want to play Hogwarts Legacy again. By the way, any more Hogwarts Legacy videos that I make will go on my new channel. I haven't shown you guys my new channel yet because it hasn't been made yet. But when it's made, I will make a like a small introduction video on it that I will share to this channel. And at that point, please subscribe to the other channel as well because on that channel I will be posting all the content that isn't just Hogwarts mystery gameplay. There might be stuff about Hogwarts mystery, but it won't be gameplay. All the Hogwarts mystery gameplay is going to continue coming on this channel. Honestly, it makes sense that. Uh... Wait, hold on. I'm focused. Yeah, what was I saying? I said it makes sense that we are the only person other than Harry Potter to uh, complete these trials because we have about as much plot armor as him. <laughs> I did it, Professor. Yes, it appears you did. <sighs> I should have known a talented Quidditch player such as yourself and a beater, by the way, would be able to keep up. Oh. That will not do. If we fail to protect the item, I shall think of the consequences. Does that mean the obstacle needs to be more challenging? Were you were you also trying to kill me? Can you people not try to kill me, please? It certainly does. So these people are basically backing out my failure. Yeah, you guys. Uh, though it would be enough to though it I thought it would be enough to charm the key to fly like a bird, but it needs more. Maybe there's another way to solve the seeker's constitution, and that's when we use like a million different flying keys. I'm intrigued. What do you have in mind? More keys. 
Lower friendly reasons, everyone. What if you had more keys? Only one is here and the rest can be decoys. A brilliant idea. An entire flock of charm keys will confuse even the most level-headed person. How did Harry find it? The kick, I don't even remember. Like, Sorcerer's Stone is my favorite movies out of all of them. It's the only one I actually paid attention to as a kid. The difficulty has been doubled, thank to you. With an entire flock of flying keys, I may not even need dodgers. Yes, thank goodness. At least the flying keys won't kill anyone. It was your idea. I'm just doing what I can to help, but not dying. I can see why Professor Dumbledore called you in. Oh. Now hurry up your next professor. Where am I going, professor? The next challenge it was wizard's chess. Oh, I'm going to McGonagall for that, aren't I? See, this is what you should not be asking Sai, because realistically she sucks at wizard's chess. That means Professor McGonagall. Yep, even MC in the game guessed. Oh. Come on, go here. Good luck, I hear her challenge is both difficult and dangerous. I don't remember how Ron got injured in that thing. In that in that section. I I don't remember. Please meet me in the Great Hall with no full stop! Oh my god. Honestly, these pieces seem much smaller than the ones I remember from the movie. I hate chess. Stop making me make chess. What is wrong with you people? Miss Silvers, I have been expecting you. Professor, I am happy to be here on non-troll related business. I'm pleased to have such a clever witch as yourself helping me out. Like, Sarahi is clever, alright, but not chess clever. Like, that don't make no sense to me. Not to mention an accomplished physics chess player. I am not. I just kind of eke out things with Google. Which I have on the side in case I need to look at things. Like, what is this chess move and what should I be doing? I'm not here for a game of physics chess, am I? Not quite. <clears throat> you see this chess board here? It will be transfiguring one side to act independently. I will be transfiguring one side to act independently. They will play a game without anyone operating them, so they need to be prepared for various chess... They need to... Oh! It's like playing an AI! So they need to be prepared for various chess, chess, chess strategies. What does this have to do with whatever you're protecting? I'll explain once you help me. I don't even think I read that sentence right. I'm going to help. Let's transfer these chess pieces. So I went training in AI basically. These chess pieces are now ready for battle. So is that all there is to the obstacle? A challenging game of wizard's chess? It's better if I show you. Please go stand on the space that's missing a pawn. What? You're not gonna attack me, are you? In God's you. Oh boy. What's happening? Mm. You aren't simply playing a game of his chess. You're in the game. I'm what? But the white knight is in position to attack me. Mm. That's right, but you have the power to stop it. Do you know which of your pieces are in position to take the white knight? No, because I don't know chess to... Which of, do you know which of your pieces are in position to take the white knight? The pawn? It can go forward two spaces. The closest pawn is in position. I'll move that to the white knight, I freaking guess. Yeah, I don't know, just shut up. I'm sorry, but that was incorrect. What does that mean? What happens now? I get my ass kicked. You people are this close to killing me. <clears throat> You're lucky this was just a test. I hate chess. Stop it, we play chess. Professor, you're planning on putting someone into the actual game. Is that why Ron had to sit on the horse? One wrong move could cause serious injury. Perhaps you're starting to grasp the severity of the situation. <clears throat> it's imperative that the seize the obstacle stops anyone from trying to pass them. If an ill-intentioned person passes through these obstacles, it would be catastrophic. He did. And you've done a great job to help not only myself, but the other professors as well. Well, what was the right move? Tell me in the comments, what was the right move? I have no idea. I hate chess. I don't like chess. I don't understand chess. Thank you, Professor, but I'm not done yet. Yes, I believe you would meet Professor Snape next. Yeah, the man who hates everything. Yeah. Wait, haven't we done all the obstacles now? Devil Snare, Flying Keys, Wizard's Chess, and then there's Fluffy. What did Snape do? Am I missing something? Fair warning, he's been resistant to any help on to any help on this on his obstacle. I expect nothing less from the Snape. He hates ideas. Go to the potion classroom and see if I can change his mind. Honestly, I think he'd rather listen to me than Harry. <laughs> oh, I'm not expecting cutscenes to start immediately. Hello, Professor Snape. I'm here back to be a pain in your ass. But I can assure you, I'll be less of a pain in the ass than Harry. <laughs> I've been sent by Professor Dumbledore to help with whatever it is you're doing. 
stupid enough to tell him anything i don't think we should and well obviously we should we know that but uh, like let's hope mc sasses out something like mc is usually sus of everyone you were sus of rake pick please be sus of this person as well i know how important this task is to the number door i've contributed to the hospital the obstacles myself you have professor tumble didn't mention you he probably has faith that my obstacle cannot be improved upon aha uh-huh. Since I'm done with my obstacles, I want to ensure everything else is running smoothly. Now, please update me on the situation f- so far. Let's let's. I'm sorry, Professor. I'm not telling you anything. Dumbledore's orders. Let's. Uh, th- I th- thank God I had the choice because I am pretty sure that even even if you were like not even if you didn't know anything about this guy, you would not be telling him just because he's insisting. And if there's anything I've learned, if that is someone is insisting or knowing. Do not tell them anything. I'm sorry, professor. I'm not telling you anything. Tumble those orders. Congratulations, you passed the test. Mm-hmm. Now that I know I can trust you, bring please bring me up to speed. Ah. Yeah, no. Go away. Stop right there. Not very good at anything. I'm smart. What are you doing here? I was sent by. I was talking to Professor Quirrell. Oh, okay. Simply helping. That's all. Ah. I don't require your help in my own classroom. I was actually here to help Sarahi, but I see she's in good hands. Bye bye, go away, please. What a mortal goodness! That goes for you too, Professor. I know you don't want my help, but I've been sent by Professor Dumbledore. Come on, I'm less annoying than Harry. <laughs> yes, I'm aware. You did a surprisingly adequate job with the removal of the troll, but I won't be revealing anything about my obstacle to you, sir. You, sir, was. All right, sweet. I'm okay with that. Not smart, as Dumbledore said. This matter requires the utmost discretion. I respect it. Also, it's you. I'm not gonna argue with you. That's one thing we can agree on. I saw you with old information from Quirrell. You're taking this seriously. I know you can craft an obstacle without me, but I have to tell Dumbledore I tried. Now move along to someone who may be more ami- uh, amenable to your assistance. There's only one more person I'm supposed to help. What did Snape make? Tell me in the comments. What did Snape do? I don't remember what obstacles there were other than the keys, Devil Snare, the chess, and Fluffy. All right, we're going to Fluffy next. Uh, Harry, I mean, sorry, Hagrid. Oh, can we get find him in the spider now? I have to visit my old friend Hagrid. What did Snape make? I am so curious. Tell me what Snape made, please. I don't know. I am so glad we get to pick the smart options, and we don't are we are not forced to tell Quirrell. We don't. We can choose the option to not say anything and not be stupid. I was so afraid they'd force us to tell Quirrell, and we would be like comically stupid. But they gave us a choice to how about you don't be stupid unless you want to hit Karen or MCS even more stupid than they already are in that case you can pick that yay why do we I I I'm I'm about the head earphones on now not that I know I know the music doesn't change I just want to put the earphones on now because now I'm happy Fang is there with an albino hound wait why do we take care of albino hounds this is this is this this makes sense hi albino a month from now I might get to kiss you finally finally what are you doing here Sahi, what a surprise! I like seeing you. I'm so happy. I'm here on official hound master duty, and I'm training the Salbino bloodhound to play nice with other dogs. Hagrid, let's let Fang help out. Fang should make for a perfect companion. Like I said, Albino hound. This this is, makes perfect sense. Albino bloodhounds are the white ones, right? Yes, but the bloodhound seems a bit skittish. Oh, oh, boy! Please. Cute doggy, cute doggy, cute doggy, cute doggy, cute doggy. I want to pet it so bad. Oh my hands! Her name is Pearl. Pardon me, stand aside for a minute. I need to pet the dog. Uh, Pearl's shy. I've been encouraging her, but it isn't enough. How is how are you encouraging the doggy and it's not doing? What is happening? It's you. Anyway, uh, I was supposed to meet with Hagrid about something important, but he doesn't seem to be here yet. Well, I wait. I can help you get the bloodhound to play. Yay! Play doggy, play doggy, play play. But in fact, uh, yeah, okay, I'm just uh, I'm just putting out incoherent nonsense at this point. Because <laughs> it's Barnaby and it's dogs. That is a very dangerous combination. 
Perhaps if we offer her a treat, she'll come out of her shell. You guys took eight hours to figure that out. You guys took eight hours to figure out that animals are spot to treats. I love you all, but you're stupid. That would work on me. <laughs> you work on me too. I'm a lovehead. Let's give it a try. Everyone responds to food. But if you play with fire, I'll give you a treat. Seriously? Ah, ah, ah doggy. Oh. Too good for this one. It worked. Brilliant idea, Sarai. I just, I love you, but why don't they give me a dog to figure that out? Pearl will be ready for duty in no time. Ah. Hi, Hagrid. Impressive teamwork, you two. We do have a lot of experience from our Hogwarts days. It's a shame you can't both go to the errand I have for you. What errand? I shouldn't have said that. Sorry, Barnaby, and we're on a real business too, and it's kind of a secret. <laughs> secret business that you can't tell me about. Well, now you have to tell me. That's how it works. I know the professor was quite clear. It's Barnaby. He forgets secrets. Like, you tell him a secret, and you ask him, what secret? And you think he's being, like, uh, a good friend, but he's, like, genuinely forgotten your secret within two seconds of knowing it. What idiot would say this, by the way? You can trust Barnaby. He's the only good thing on this planet. And the only good thing in Hogwarts history. You can trust Barnaby, Hagrid. He always looks out for everyone's best intentions. Also forgets secrets within two seconds of knowing them. Uh, That's right. That made my heart happy. I will do anything to make your heart happy. Let me kiss you next month, please. Will that make you happy? That will make me happy, definitely. All right, all right. But you have to ask, swear you won't say anything to anyone. Like I said, he will forget within two seconds. I don't like to swear, but I will for... <laughs> no, do not make this man swear. He is too good for this one. I don't like to swear, but I will for you, Hagrid. Here goes. He's gonna say fuck! Why do he means to swear not a curse word? He's legally not allowed to say fuck! I love Barnaby so much. No, let him cuss. Let him cook. No, Barnaby. You know, I'm on two sides. Like, it's like, let him cuss and also, no, he's too pure for that. Oh, that's much better. I swear I won't tell anyone. Oh. Your task is simple. All you have to do is return a flute I borrowed from Hogwarts. Where are we taking it? A corridor on the third floor. Whatever you do, don't let anyone see it. That shouldn't be a problem for someone who stuck a mountain toad out of the castle. I did not know about that. That's not much information. Is there anything else you can tell us? I'm not sure you've noticed, but I have a bit of a problem saying too much. However, if there's something you'd like to know, I'll answer a question you think might help. Why a flute? Why can't anyone see us? Okay, why a flute? Why do you have a flute in the first place? Alright, or like Fluffy's thing he needs to be put to sleep with the specific song. But it's on the harp, isn't it? They say music suits the savage beast. And I happen to deal with an alarming amount of savage beasts. Alright, we're off to Hogwarts. Good luck and be careful. Don't worry about Pearl, I've got plenty of treats for her. And I need to go to the bathroom because I drank my bottle of water. Ow! Ow! Ow, my eras. Thanks, Hagrid. We'll be back after you return the fruit. Ow! Ow! Ah! What are you doing here? Okay, it's okay. You're welcome here. Come on. Was she bothering you? If she was, you're lying because Mary isn't capable of bothering anyone. Here we are, third floor. Apparently, is that that statue? Okay, before I was interrupted, is that that old woman statue that you can sneak in from to get to Honey Dukes? We went into this passageway in Legacy. They keep changing the structure of Hogwarts in like every game. Hello. Okay, Barnaby. We're going with Barnaby. That makes me happy. All right, Barnaby. There should be an entrance to the third floor corridor at the end of this hall. We'll have the food returned in no time. And so far, no one has spotted us. That's great. I think. To be honest, I'm not sure what to think. You don't ever ever do, but we like that in there. I'm quite confused. Well, more confused than usual. Oh, that means you're more confused than me. I am also constantly confused. What's confusing you? I don't understand why Hagrid has a flute or why we're returning it if he's the one who took it in the first place. But there's something more important I'm confused about. 
what are you doing here at Hogwarts? I will always tell Barnaby the truth. There is no, it's Barnaby. I will tell him everything. I'm here on a special mission from Professor Dumbledore. He's protecting something quite important, so important he wouldn't even tell you what it was. Hagrid is helping him protect it. This route must be part of the obstacle, so you gotta return it. <laughs> Danny, I'm a secret. I'm a secret part of secret mission. Let's call it secretly. Now nah, I like Barnaby. I told Hagrid you could be trusted, and I meant it. <laughs> you wanna make a roar noise? <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, that's just Norris. Oh no, Mrs. Norris, dude! I thought we were gonna be making fan growls. I mean, fluffy growls. It's just Norris. Actually, you stay away from Norris. You are a mouse. That means Filch can't be far behind. Let's figure out a way out of this hallway quick. Can't be this closed door. It's our only chance. Why do we, as adults, need to hide from the caretaker? By the way, mm -hmm. it's locked though. I'll use the Lohamora. I mean, it exists, right? I have to do the stupid thing. A Lohamora. I mean, it gave more fun in Legacy. I actually had fun figuring that out and doing it. Everyone else seems to hate it though. Lohamora. It worked. I have the door unlocked. Quickly, let's get inside. Again, why do we as adults need to do this? Nothing here, Mrs. Norris. Come along. Well, now what? Third floor, part two. Creepy, creepy, creepy dark room. Creepy dark room with bed. We made it. Third floor. I didn't hear Phil's behind us. He must have wandered him. We shouldn't take any chances, though. Let's hurry and put the flute hazard board back where it belongs. This seems like a strange place for flute. Not that I can really tell. It's really dark in here. Yeah, like I said, dark room with bay. I can fix that. Room was it up? Will there be devils? No, not yet. Okay, just fluffy room. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be anyway. Lumos. Oh, here. Fluffy isn't brown. Isn't he a like a black dog? Grrr! A three-headed dog. Mm -hmm. Careful, Sarai. We've accidentally provoked it. It's extremely dangerous. We'll have to defend ourselves. Why are we fighting the big dog? And why would Expelliarmus work on a big dog? Doesn't have a wand. MC is once again textbook stupid, and somehow more textbook stupid than Barnaby. Great, you made it angrier. Well done, idiot. Congratulations, you somehow made it angrier. Even he is calling you out. He's like the nicest person on this planet. If he is doing sarcasm, then you know you messed up. Hurry, let's figure out how to stop this dog from attacking us. How would you think to attack in the first place, idiot? So much idiotness, MC. And then people call it Barnaby the idiot. Is somebody gonna play the flute? Barnaby has it sent us to this location on purpose with the flute. Perhaps that's a clue. I suppose we could throw the flute at the dog. And luckily, Sarai does in fact know how to play the flute. Even in my own head, Karens. We're not gonna throw the flute at the dog, Barnaby. Uh, maybe we just play it instead. Perhaps it's vulnerable to music. That's much better than throwing it. Play the flute. And Sarai actually does know how to play a flute. Canonically. A much thinner flute. What the hell, man? Can't really shame MC for being startled by loud noises. Oh no! Our table! It's broken! <laughs> what are we gonna do now? You do it! You can do it! I missed that TLSQ back in the day. You try singing to it. I remember your secret talent for singing when you were on stage just listening to work. Back at TLSQ, I could not applaud. I'm so sad about it. I'll do my best. Yay! Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not reading that. <laughs> Barnaby, a singing made it fall asleep. Your oh. idea saved our lives. The flute is still broken. That was a close one. I'm sorry I'm an idiot and I attacked this thing and made it angry at me. Whatever Professor Dumbledore is protecting, it must be a big deal. Mm -hmm. We should get out of here before it wakes up. Even though it's broken, I guess we technically did it on the flute. Let's go back to Hagrid and break the news that we broke his flute. I was gonna play that flute, come on! Hey Hagrid, so your flute's broken. Long story short. Sorry, Barbie, you're still alive. I ain't asking questions anymore. It's a bit concerning that you're surprised by that. <laughs> well, not many people encounter Fluffy and live to tell the tale. Fluffy? As was your being alive means I'll succeed in your task. Barely. The flute's broken. Thanks to your clue with the flute, Barnaby was able to sing the three-headed dog and fluffy to sleep. 
Continue to buy me could be trusted. Well, why wouldn't you trust him? He's literally the best person on this planet. He technically did what he was by returning the, the third floor, but um, sorry, Hagrid in the chaos, he broke the fruit. Oh. That fruit was nothing special. How about Suspendi? I need to see how you'd fare against a ferocious three headed dog. Yo, I'm mad. <laughs> how deceptive Hagrid. We could have been seriously injured. I panicked and attacked the dog and then broke the fruit. Yeah, right, so I just shows how seriously we're taking all this. But I saw you and Barnaby help that bad hound. You have a way with creatures. He does, I don't apparently. I should. Sarahi does. And if Sarahi was gonna attack Flavi, it was just because she panicked. Well, which after that, she'd be yelling, I'm sorry, I panicked. I'll admit it didn't, I'll admit it didn't go exactly as planned. Maybe I shouldn't tell you about that. Hagrid, please, you can't nearly kill us and then leave out the details. Alright, let me explain what happened, but please keep this between us. Okay, please use as little energy as possible. I'm running out. I've run out. Hold on. So, you were originally going to just send us to that creature without any hints. That's right, but I was worried it would be too dangerous. So, I agreed to let Barnaby go along and gave you the fruit as a clue. I'm glad you were able to figure it out, though it's not quite what Dumbledore wanted me to do. Dude, perhaps the fear of being eaten by a massive three headed dog will be enough to stop an intruder. If not, we'd better keep Fluffy's weakness for music under wraps. Yeah, I'll go back and retrieve what's left of the fruit so no one knows what we're up to. Thanks for the help, Sarai. Mine was the last of the obstacles. Then why is the steel rescue still going? It's been so long. Actually, I'm beginning to hate the steel rescue. It's long and I'm getting bored. You're welcome. I'd better report back to Professor Dumbledore. Alright, dude. You tried to kill me in like four different ways and one of them involved my boyfriend. Now what? Welcome back, Sarai. Shut up. Hi, Headmaster. I've helped my sisters for protective measures. Nearly got killed on every single one of them. One of them nearly got my boyfriend killed too. Is that what you wanted, sir? I may not be a student anymore, but I'm still mad. You're still gonna do this crap. Next time you put yourself in front of the obstacles. Hi, Headmaster. I've helped Professor test the protective measures. You made some interesting discoveries together. Uh -huh. And so quickly, I'm glad you understood the urgency of the situation. I look forward to hearing your full account uh, and I, then I have a crucial question for you. I'll debrief you on all the challenges now. I am out of energy. This is like the fourth eight hour task. I'm so mad. This quest instantly gets like a three out of ten. Just because of all the 8 hour tasks. It sounds like the professors did their best to maim and dismember you. And you let them. Don't forget poison. Oh. There were precautions in place in the event you did, did get into trouble, but those proved unnecessary. Mm. It still sounds like these obstacles were difficult, but only one of us had experienced them. Tell me, what did you really think of their obstacles? Mm, they're challenging. They're challenging, professor, right? I nearly didn't complete some of them. Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear that. I knew I could count on the professors I chose, and with your help, the obstacles are even more confounding. The one exception is Professor Snape. He won't tell me about this obstacle. Mm. Snape has been tied up about what he's working on. Mm. Then again, so have I. You? Uh -huh. I will be adding an obstacle of my own. What other obstacles are there? I literally don't remember. Tell me in the comments. But that will remain known only to me. Especially since I've come to learn that you were not as discreet as I had hoped. I only told Barnaby because he was assisting me. I didn't share with anyone else. Also, if you don't trust Barnaby, you don't deserve to be on this planet. Hmm. I trust both you and Mr. Lee, but this information is too sensitive to share. In the meantime, I am quite confident in the protections the professors have, have, put, in, have, been put, have uh -huh. put in place. And for that, I owe you my thanks. You're welcome, Headmaster. Whatever you're protecting should be much harder to get to know. Hmm. I hope so. The fate of the wizarding world may depend on it. Harry got to it, though. Not armor. Now, the next time I call on you, it will be for something of equal importance. Please don't. A cup of tea and sherbet lemon. That better be it. I look forward to it. See, Fluffy is a black dog. Fluffy is not a brown dog. Why? Why? Why is the three out of ten quest? Fun premise, but too long and drawn out. Did not have fun. Would not recommend. I will cut this video short because I need to go to the bathroom again. Hey, what, what, should I just call the new channel? You know what? I am already calling like a Kimi, or should I just call it Mary's idiot human? <laughs> I felt that very me. Anyway, that's all for this steel is cute. It's the sorcerer's stone, but you're like involved with setting up the traps. It's very long. It has too many eight hour things. Like four or five of them, I think. I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye. 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 And I'm gonna go to the bathroom.